promise not to talk too long before this one. Okay, guys, this is the 2020 FXDR, and I just wanted to say before this video starts, quit hating on this bike. I'll explain why, because it can get more people into riding, especially get them into riding Harleys if they're coming from the street bike world. And I'm gonna do my tall rider take on this. I'm gonna be cheesy and start calling them TRTs. But I do it within the video, so here's the video. I promise not to talk that long. I'm still talking, aren't I? All right, so now I'm doing the 2020 FXDR. This thing is a torquey beast. I've heard a lot about them. It's definitely got a more aggressive stance. I feel like I'm more on like a crotch rocket, sport bike, whatever you want to call it. Or like a, it's not an adventure bike because you can't really get upright. But God, this thing definitely has some torque. So this test ride is awesome so far. I would love to see the image of this on video of me on it because <laughs> I feel really freaking huge. Holy crap. That's power. Out of all the 2020s I've ridden so far, that thing. Woo! Yeah. 2020 FXDR with a 114 on it. This one's been tuned up by Harley. <laughs> yeah. I almost feel like I shouldn't talk because I need to be paying attention. <laughs> you know what? I actually feel more comfortable on this, hilariously enough. I, don't, I, I know the aggressive stance, like the way I'm hunched over a little bit, is not gonna be great for long rides. But for tooling around town, this versus the Lowrider S, call me crazy. But I might go this. <laughs> when I lean down, my collar like flops because I'm not used to this position. Holy cow. My hands aren't used to that position either. almost am overdoing the cornering because it just takes them like it's nothing. So back to the tall guy bike thing. And I know I'm beating a dead horse, but here's the thing. The reason I talk about the tall guy bike stuff so much is the only channel that I could find talking about tall guys. And when I say tall guys, I mean anybody 6'3", 6'4", and above. All I could find is guys going, hey, I'm 6'1", and I fit this bike great. Well, yeah, most bikes are made for up to 6'1", 6'2". The only one I could find was traveling tall. And it, couldn't have found out he's 6'5", because you couldn't find any video where he said how tall he actually was. But I'm 6'7". So the reason I talk about it is not to brag about being tall, is to give an opportunity for other tall riders to kind of get, hey, should I even bother trying with this bike or this anything? Uh, these handlebars, these forward controls, whatever. Whatever they're looking at, that they're wondering, okay, if this is good for tall people or not, I want to help out with that. So that's why I talk about it so much. This, the position is just different to me. It's a lot more aggressive. All right, I'm gonna try the low end torque again on this. There's no tack on here, so I'm just gonna play it by ear. But that's third, and it's, jeez. Not low end torque, but you know, low rev power. The exhaust sound is different. Kinda sounds more like a fart. 
sorry <laughs> that's what it sounds like and it may not come out on video like that but that's what it sounds like power is definitely there a lot of people thought that harley was going to do away with this because i don't think they sold a whole lot but it's just people not getting used to it this is something that somebody who likes sport bikes and has get it has been riding sport bikes would love this i am you know just a couple miles into the test drive right now my lower back is already starting to get a little tight i'm also not that flexible but leg size i mean leg position is not horrible um i don't mind it at all the aggressive position that would definitely take some getting used to the hunched over leaned over i don't know if you can see it in the in the mirror at all um that would definitely take a lot of getting used to uh but as far as somebody who let's say you're a sport bike guy you've been a sport bike guy for years you've rode ninjas you've rode gsxrs you've rode hayabusa's whatever but you're like you know what i want to kind of ease my way into the harley world this fxdr is is a perfect little blend of of kind of the harley feel but with kind of that um sport bike feel and you want to handle some freaking corners this i would love to take on the dragon after I got used to how easy it corners, because I'm not having to work real hard or even think too much about my line. I mean, yes, I should always think about the line I'm cornering on, but. I mean, once again, similar to the Lowrider S, I barely touched the throttle and this thing is gone. Um, it has got some major power it's just i'm a i'm a long ride guy because riding to me is my therapy the riding to me is is the wind therapy the time to myself my meditation time i'm bobbling and my voice is shaking because i'm on that bridge but it's my thinking time it's my meditation time it's my zeke quiet time and i need to ship down and so this doesn't really lend to that very well it doesn't feel like it would be that if i needed to run around town absolutely this would be fun you know quick little 5 10 15 minute jaunts no big deal especially when you can do that Woo! hello pregnant lady if you like this one They've got one at Smith Brothers in Johnson City. Or a Harley dealer near you. This is a fun bike. This isn't a bike that me being who I am and what I like would buy. That has nothing to do with the validity of the bike itself as a good motorcycle. It is a torquey little bastard. That means good. So out of all the three I've done so far, this is probably the best handling of all three. Uh, 2020 FXDR. Here's the uh, torque and horsepower and all that right there. gonna get up to 60 this is a 55 I think but god I get there quick I don't know you do the seconds how long did it take me to get to 60 and I really wasn't giving it all it's got so fun bike under six four go for it Honestly, if you're over 6'4 and you really want this aggressive position, you really don't have to do anything but probably raise the bars about three or four inches. The reason I say that is because if you had to do a U-turn, you're hitting your knee right there. Um, you need to be able to not hit your knee. Not hitting your knee is good. 
hitting your knee is bad makes for a wider U-turn or figure eights or anything you have to do tight steering in. Uh, with this test drive, you don't really have to worry about it. But like I said, the only reason I wouldn't buy it is just this isn't my style of bike. One day I'll get videos of like people <laughs> laughing at me on this, these smaller bikes. <laughs> But if you do like this aggressive style, if you do like the seating position, if you do like power, if you like power, you'll love this freaking bike. And I don't know what all kinds of mods you can do for this thing, but I imagine they're kind of limitless like other Harleys. Um, but I mean, really for a taller guy, really just raise the bars up a little bit and you're good to go. You would be good to go. So yeah, I'd recommend this bike if this is what you're looking for. Would I buy it? No, but this isn't what I'm looking for. It has nothing to do with the quality of the bike. So I hope you like this ride. Hope you like the views. Hope you like the 2020 lineup that they've been putting out. Thank you again to Smith Brothers Harley-Davidson in Johnson City, Tennessee for putting on this little event and for during my lunch hour letting me do some rides and tomorrow's lunch hour I may do some more uh, which technically I guess I'm not taking a lunch hour because um, I'm working on my YouTube channel. I gotta eat. I can't even think right. What am I doing? Oh, he's got a flat trike, or is that a wreck trike? Uh, the styling of this bike is pretty amazing. If you just walked up and looked at it, it is a badass looking bike. It just looks mean. Uh, it's just sitting on it. It, it depends on whether you're comfortable or not. Depending on you know how you like to sit on a bike, your, the size you are, the style you ride all that stuff but absolutely you got you got somebody that's into sport bikes and they're wanting to get into harleys go with it because this will definitely be a good nice little transition and i need to research a little bit more on why everybody hates this bike i don't hate it i just don't want it doesn't mean i hate it it's just not comfortable for me it's just not the style of ride to have that big nasty looking mean sounding pipe on it it's really quiet like you see that pipe and you just expect nasty type sport bike but you don't get it Feel like Chris Farley doing fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> it was fun though, was it not? It was fun. <laughs> yeah.